Hey, we're back at Sonoma today in the A2A Comanche. The last video I did for Sonoma, I had texture max load at 1024, per my usual practice. Misha Chaich, the developer of the Sonoma scenery, however, suggested that I fly there at 4096. I'm generally pretty conservative with memory, which is why I've never had an OOM. But I decided, what the heck and I was pretty pleased with the performance after making the change. Virtual address space, or VAS usage, only grew by 68 megabytes. And I also made another change. I upped the LOD radius from 5.5 to 6.5. This itself did have a bigger impact on VAS, adding another 110 megabytes. So my minimum VAS available for this video, per FSUIPC, was 872 megabytes. Smoothness was at worst the same, although in some spots I felt it was actually a little better, which was pretty confusing to me, but maybe it had to do with a better CPU-GPU balance. I still kept frames locked at 36 for this video, however another change which I made, which I'm sure probably helped counteract VAS usage increases, was I used Rex Weather Direct to add some ground fog and a rain system north of KSTS. Overall, the very lightweight weather uh, probably helped VAS, but I wanted some ground fog to complement the early morning flight time. I have noticed with Rex Weather Direct that since it seems less dynamic than various weather engines like Active Skynex or Opus, it seems to impose a smaller CPU footprint, which could come in handy for flying complex aircraft. The change to 4096 texture quality was most evident on the ground. The taxiway and runway edges were much better looking, as were the buildings. From aloft, the difference was less noticeable, but the photoreal te textures did seem crisper. Better visuals at minimal to no cost is always a good thing, though. Misha, your latest creation looks even better. Bravo, Zulu.
Well, I hope you enjoyed our return trip to Sonoma County Airport. If you liked what you saw, please hit like and by all means subscribe. Later.